Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a DIY video on how to make these really realistic hay bales for your Shalike horses. They're really easy and quick to make and they last for ages. I actually made these two hay bales a couple of years ago and they still look just as good as when I made them. I've had loads of questions on my channel asking me where I got them. So yeah, I thought I'd make a really fun video showing you how to make some for yourself. Okay, I'm gonna head on outside now because it is quite a messy craft. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna be making mine. All right, let's go. Here we are. My helper today is Chip the dog. He was very excited to be picked for this task, but I think that was mainly because he could see all of the birds in the hedge. <laughs> now, what you're going to need for this craft is a pair of scissors, a huge clump of hay, a little shellac horse to eat the hay bale once you've made it, and some string. So starting off with the craft then, what you're going to want to do first is pull out a large section of the hay like this. It doesn't really matter how much hay you grab, to be honest. It's up to you, you know, depending on whether you want your hay bales to be smaller or bigger, but it doesn't matter either way. Then once you've got the right amount of hay and kind of twisted it together to make sure it's properly joined, you're going to want to cut a long piece of string like so and you're going to use that bit of string to tie it around your clump of hay to hold it all together. Now this is the really important part because you need to make sure and tie the string as tight as you possibly can to prevent any loose bits of hay from falling out. Now once you've got one bit of string holding it all together so it looks a bit like a bow tie, you've got to go and do the exact same thing with another bit of string so you've got two pieces holding it together like this. It looks so cute like this. I don't even know why. It's just so pretty. <laughs> all right then on to the next step. I'm just moving all the scrap hay and everything out of the way so I've got a clear workspace. Then you're going to take your scissors and just chop off that huge amount of hay that's sticking out from where you've tied it. I think a really good pair of big scissors makes this so much easier otherwise with a small pair of scissors it's just really fiddly and annoying. <laughs> anyway once I've cut off all the obvious bits of hay I like to go back around the edges and neaten it up because it really does sort of get rid of any loose bits but also makes it look a lot more finished. Now after you've finished cutting the hay bale you may notice the string feels much looser. So for the final step I like to go back around the hay bale and retie some new pieces of string just to make it so much tighter and it makes the hay bale last loads longer. I left this step out on the first couple that I did and the hay bales ended up falling apart really quickly so I really recommend doing this. It makes them just so much better and neater. After you finish tying it, just slide the old piece of string off the end, and yeah, that's one side done, now for the other. And bam, that's one hay bale all tied up, now you just go back and cut off the excess string, and you've got one excellent hay bale. Ta-da! <laughs> So that is it, that's how I make my hay bales, I really hope you found it helpful. With your leftover hay it makes a great snack for a bunny, guinea pig or an actual horse. I know my bunny Purdy really appreciated the extra snacks, plus the attention and scratches, I mean you gotta love those too. And she started to get very interested in the hay bales that I'd actually made, so I had to move those out of the way pretty quickly. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful, I absolutely love this craft because it's so easy and you don't need a lot of supplies. Off camera I went ahead and made loads more hay bales so I had a whole stack which was brilliant. I think Ace particularly was very pleased. So yeah that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to not miss any of my future videos and I'll see you all next time. Bye!